Hello, and welcome to the section of the Differential Equations Tutor. Uh, we're winding our way through the solution technique known as undetermined coefficients when we're looking at non-homogeneous linear uh, differential equations with constant coefficients and applying this method of undetermined coefficients. So let's go ahead and work another one. We'll have a few more problems here, um, really just trying to give you different angles, different types of, of forcing functions on the right-hand side so you can get a feel for creating this annihilator and go through the process as many times as it takes for yourself to get comfortable with it. So let's go ahead and do that now. The next equation that we have is going to be, let's say, second derivative plus 1, operating on a function that we want to find x of t, is equal to cosine of t. Okay, now this one's a little bit different because although we have a fairly simple operator over here, we have a sinusoid over here. But don't let it change your path. What we want to do is basically operate exactly the same way as the other problems. The first thing we want to do is define the homogeneous version because after all this equation is a non-homogeneous version. It's the, it's the true equation. So what we're going to do is solve first d squared plus 1 operating on x of t is equal to 0. So we just set the right hand side equal to 0, take out the forcing function and see how the system behaves. Alright, so what we're going to do is just treat this like the polynomial method, r squared plus 1, set it equal to 0 r squared is equal to negative 1. So we take the square root of both sides. r is going to equal plus or minus i. right? And we know how to handle that when we have uh, an equation uh, where we get the root that's imaginary like this. Then what we're going to have, we're going to call it h of t, meaning the solution of this homogeneous equation uh, is going to be constant. This is going to be an equal sign is going to be constant 1. Now, there's a, a real part of 0 there. So usually it's e to the 0 t, but since e to the 0 is 1, we're just going to call it cosine of t plus c2 sine of t. Make sure you understand. It's, it's really e to the 0 t times cosine of t, the, because there's a 1 from here. And then we have exactly the same thing with a sine. So I'm not doing anything different, just not explicitly writing e to the 0 t, because it's just, it's just going to drop out anyway. All right, so this is a solution to the homogeneous version. This is half the solution. Now what we need to do is find the particular solution, and what we need to do for that is to go and find the annihilator, because that's what we're going to do uh, next. So the annihilator is denoted a of d, some combination of derivatives, for a forcing function e of t. In this case, the forcing function is just cosine of t. So we need to kind of work backwards and try to figure out what set of derivatives, or what operator, would yield, in, in the context of how we've been doing these problems, this function as a solution, basically. Because that means that whenever we operate this guy, it's going to eliminate it and make it equal to zero. And we've explained that several times in the previous sections. What we need to do is look at this and say, well, obviously, it's a sinusoid. If it were typical e to the 2t, e to the 3t, there would be real roots. But since we don't have any of that, we have a cosine, we, we know that we're going to have an imaginary root because the imaginary roots lead to sines and cosines, right? So what we really have, if you really want to think about it, is like e to the 0t times cosine of 1 times t. That's what this is, right? That's another way to think of it. So in other words, since the real part, since what's in this exponent is 0, then that means that r is going to be 0 from the real part uh, plus 1 i. Or in other words, r is going to equal i. So it's basically going backwards. It's like looking at this, figuring out what we have, and working backwards to say, well, a root of i would yield a solution of that guy of cosine t. So this is going to be 